by the sport he loved, basketball, for being far too short, far too old, and far too Caucasian. He's now seeking redemption versus 80 kilo dumbbells. On a movement like no other, incline dumbbell press. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Death vomit under his sweater already. It's muscle nation you've covered large for 10% off. We're back on Mitch. We're back on cycle. Are we really? No! <laughs> All right, what are we doing today, Mitch? Are we filming? Are we on? We're back on the tube. I've gone with the tuck shirt today. This is the lucky... Oh, the, the Crocs. <laughs> I've been a hater of the Crocs for so long. Thanks to Tom Rodriguez. Um, okay, we're gonna go... We're gonna train some chest today. I'm gonna be honest with you, Mitch. I was talking to you about it before. I'm not really feeling on one today. I'm feeling a little bit... I don't even know what the right word to use is. Feeling just very, if you can articulate that, that's what I'm feeling right now. And today is slightly grayer than it has been. Anyway, uh, long story short, I was feeling a little bit eh about filming today, but I think all the more reason to film, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. And there's nothing specific. It hasn't been, it hasn't been a horrible couple of days. Just the, just the, the nit and gritties, the, the getting down and grimies. But a great, great man once said to me, your muscles don't care about how you feel. So what you said? If anyone captions their Instagram photo with your muscles don't care about how you feel, tag me and you win this Muscle Nation creatine. With some extra added goodness in there. So we're gonna go train chest today. Just ate a chicken and rice meal. Gonna get my intro workout carbs, you know the drill. Go train some chest. Going to a different spot today. Um, I was looking for some bigger dumbbells that aren't at my gym that I normally train at or any of the gyms that I normally train at now that I think about it. So we've located some larger dumbbells than normal to um, to see if I can't tear my shit right off the bone and see what happens, touch wood. So we're gonna try and move some heavy dumbbells today, get a good nice chest and tricep session in, have a good time along the way, see if I can't listen to some G up music on the way and get myself ready to go. We are gonna see one of the OGs, one of the pink gang OGs. If you know, you know, I-Y-K-Y-K, -Y -K, pink gang. Woo, let's go! Um, so we're here, fifth, fifth, future health and fitness. Come check out the spot. I'm just a walking Muscle Nation athlete today. New gym bag, code watch. Let's go say what's up. Fuck, you look huge right now, Jesus. Son of a bitch. I had two pizzas last night, so. You look enormous. I'm struggling to fucking digest it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is a spot, man. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Eh? I love it, yeah, eh? Yeah, I've been saying to Mitch for forever. Yeah. To hopefully get you down something. 100%, man. Yeah, 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 yeah fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah things just, got, things yeah. just worked out perfectly then. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, juicy. Done. Oh, I'll have to do a leg day here as well, for sure. Jump in on that? Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. no worries. I was gonna say, yeah, I didn't wanna like embarrass myself to the like, But you think you can fuck with me on legs? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Those 80s look pretty daunting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I should have asked for 71s instead. <laughs> just, I just wanna press the 71s. Do you have any 71 kilo dumbbells, please? It's done really well with the space. Yeah, it's I'm, cool, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan, I like the orange too. <laughs> Do some shoulder mobility, some shoulder warm-up stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm really glad about? That I'm not anywhere near famous enough for people to call me out on shit. Like, you know when people like, uh, bodybuilders will like do some exercise or some stretch and then like 47 people on social media will be like, that's not the right way to do that. You're doing that inefficiently. I'm not at that point yet. So I can just do whatever I want and pretend like I know what I'm talking about. And everyone's like, yeah. I want to deliberately try and get Goob's attention. I'm gonna Photoshop some, the shit out of some photos. And I'm gonna start beef with random social media pages just to try and get some clout. All exposure is good exposure, Mitch. No, so no such thing as bad exposure, unless you're Josh Giddy, in which case, rip. I'll probably start with like the 40s. I'll probably just go like eight reps of the 40s, six reps of the 50s. 
three, four reps of the 60s, three, four reps of the 70s, and then, um, and then pray, pray that we can survive. never use like any accessories for pressing either. Like I'll never use elbow sleeves, never use wrist straps. These are actually knee sleeves that I use as elbow sleeves, but that's fine. They're actually leg sleeves, just for peace of mind, really. I got paranoid that <laughs> you were like recording me in the toilet. Cause I, I was watching a questionable video on the toilet. <laughs> not like that, not like that. But I was watching a video and I was like, if the mic's on, this is gonna sound really fucking weird. <laughs> it's, it's, not a, it's not a nervous way, it's a nervous fat. Like get a little quick, little quick, quick load off, a little test boost before we go. I'm gonna pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this rack. Um, all right, let's fuck with the 70s first. easier than the 60s somehow. Okay, that's um, that's comforting. I have the motivation of one now. It was zero and now it's one. I'm feeling like we're gonna be okay. I've never pressed more than the 70s before. I just moved the 70s to like four, like piss. Yeah. I was just saying that the only issue is gonna be getting them up. Yeah, yeah. Once they're up, I'm okay. It's just yeah. the, that daunting kicking them back. Like I said, never touched them before, and then kicking really? them, never touched 80s before. Like, oh, yeah, kicking them back. I only got 70s. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Actually, once I was in the set, they were fine. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, once I'm in the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just kicking them up. Kicking them up. Is it more like mental? It's all mental. It's all mental. I'm just saying, yeah. Especially because I've never touched them before. Yeah. Like, if you watch with the 70s that I did just before, literally throw them back, fucking yeah, thanks yeah, for coming, yeah, 10 reps, yeah, no worries yeah, about it. Yeah. Like it's only 10 kilos more, which isn't a great deal. Yeah, like I definitely think I've got like six comfortably there. I just got to get used to handling them. I reckon they're heavier here as well. It's so heavy. Like metal, metal dumbbells with like the nuts and bolts and the OG fucking handles on them. But like, you were, like what we're talking about, like the longer a dumbbell is, you saw me on that first rep, I'm like chasing it around everywhere trying to stabilize it. Once I'm stable and in a set, like it's not a problem. Yeah, so there's like these little levers where you sit the dumbbells in them and as soon as you unrack it like the levers fall back so you literally just sit in it and as soon as you like push the dumbbells up the, the racks just fall back i've only ever seen like two in my life but they're genius although if you can't get the dumbbells up don't press them. i just wanted to press the 80s tick back off to 70 65 60 and we'll back off to the 60s i can see your wrist turning so i know you're zooming in right now <laughs> Like your pressing strength is always the first thing to go in prep. Like as soon as calories come down, your pressing strength goes to the shit. But I don't think there were any sessions, if many, like when I was deep in prep that I was pressing less than 60s or 55s at, at the most. Like, all right, we want 10 at 65s. That's the goal right now. Okay. 
I'm happy with that. Damn it. That's the hardest part. Putting dumbbells away. Yeah, like when the back offset is is five kilos less than what I my top set was last week. That's good. I like your perspective, Mitchell. I like your perspective. I can't get under these machines. Like, that's, that's stupid. That's really nice though. Like if I put weight on that, it would just be horrendous. Although I'll have the same problem with this. Oh, wait. Genius. Uh, let's use this. I like this. Is it too toxic if I just jump straight to three plates? <laughs> no, in all, in all honesty, this is like one, of, this is my type of gym. Like if I was gonna have my own gym, it would look something similar like this, like pretty grungy, pretty chill, nothing too over the top, just all the fucking good quality pieces, just everything you need to be a, like a bodybuilder and that's it. Why wouldn't you wanna get trained young? It's good, I'm not, it's nice. FHF, Roval, in the area. Mrs. Grant, get on down, get a fucking session in, see if you can pick up the 80s. Oh, huge. Look at him. When I grow up, I won't be able to wear a stringer like that. No, the t shirt's staying on the whole time. Yeah, it's definitely heavy. I guess definitely heavy for three plates. That's just cool. Do one more set there. I think we'll do a drop set there. And then flies, then tries, then dips, and we're done. Been back on two weeks, three weeks. So things are going back in. Like it's only like, let me do the milligram math right now. 700 milligrams total, 600 milligrams total. So really fuck all, to be honest with you. Um, and filling out really well. So weight's up to like 112, 112 kilos. Relatively decent body composition. Strength's probably the strongest it's ever been right now. Well, I've definitely never pressed 80s before, I know that much. Um, safe to say we're in a good fucking spot. 22 weeks out-ish. Biggest I've ever been. Leanest I've ever been at this weight. Strongest I've ever been. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna go do three plates for like seven or eight, yeah. and then we'll just take one plate off each side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll pick that one. Done. Yeah, yeah, done. All right, sweet. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. I'll get around the back. Yep. Yeah. These blocks are genius too. Yeah, I know, man. Fuck. Yeah, yoga. <laughs> yoga blocks my ass. <laughs> so big boys can get under the fucking presses. Let's go. Got it. Yep. 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 Yeah, drop it. It's a nice static hold we got going on here. There we go. That, um, I expected that to be much lighter when we went down to two plates. <laughs> nah, thanks man. Good shit. Let me do cables. Do tri uh, chest fly and then warm up the triceps. Um, I don't know if I've got a singlet in the car. Maybe I will rock a singlet, who knows? Take Grants. <laughs> That's me in!
Try this one, use this one. She's getting serious. I finally got an adequate enough pump to take a t-shirt off. Perfect. 10 pound tuck, you've never heard of that? Oh, Lucky Handsome Metallus told me this. If you know, you know Lucky Handsome Metallus. Once you tuck your singlet in, you look 10 pounds bigger than if you have it untucked. It's the rules. I wonder if we should do them seated. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, that's so much better. So I like that, we'll like start off as like a really strict fly and as fatigue sets in, you kind of turn it almost into a press. Kind of like, almost like a drop set, super set. Cause you're obviously stronger in a press than you are in a fly. Like that's common sense. So as fatigue sets in, a little extra chest exhaustion. It's nice, I like it. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> it's good. Yes or no? I like it, I like it a lot. I do something similar like just with other attachments. It just works that they're like so close together. Twenty-five percent. Kick Tom out. You're the big dog now. Mitch Noss one. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mitch Noss one. <sighs> That's good. What we're just saying about thinking about when you're younger. That's what I was going to lead into before is like when you're younger, people that you look up to in the gym, right? Or people that you see and you're like, fuck, that physique is amazing. Yeah, like yeah. I remember like five or six years ago, looking at some physiques and I was like, I would kill to look like that. Yeah, yes, yes. And now like I'm like, bigger than those people, right? Yeah, it was like yeah. my first two like inspirations for, from a gym standpoint were fucking Captain America, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And like Steve Cook was like the big thing, yeah, Steve Cook, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, those two were like, yeah. all I'd want to do is look like that. Yeah, yeah. And now fucking I've got, 15 kilos on both of them. 15 kilos on both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm past the point of looking attractive to regular females now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was gonna say, yeah, nah. I'm, I'm sure it's like fucking 20 kilos ago. Yeah, like I was I, I was a fuck boy when I was 88 kilos and now yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. 15 kilos above fuck boy status. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually a gym hack. All your short short queens out there. How did you do it? So you just un unpull it, pull it down, and then look at that. And now when you hop into the machine, we can reach. That's genius. At Tom Rodriguez. At Tom Rodriguez, you need that. If you walk into the operating theater, 
and there's a step stool by the bed <laughs> where you're getting operated on, you know, you're getting operated on by a short queen. magazine fold over I'm like what's the opposite of lactating whatever that is um anyway that's a wrap on another video um thank you so much to Grant and FHF for having us down they were very hospitable very much looking after me and Mitch very thankful for that put the 80s up look it wasn't the greatest set in the world but you know we got there touched a new weight that's something new really good session all in all managed to get good work in got a bit of a pose in Try to add a new gym. I'll definitely back here again. There's some really cool pieces here for a few different movements and different body parts and things like that. So keen to try this. It's not too far from where I live. So short little trip, but that's it. If there's anything specific you do want to see, like always, pop them in the comments, share, like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications for the other YouTube cliche, but that's it. We're done. Chest day done. 20 something weeks out. I don't know. We'll work it out, but we out of here.